Hi there, I'm Kurt from Studio 22 and this is a quick tour of our Studio 22 online photo book creator. You start directly from our website by selecting the product of your choice and scrolling down to the price list. And there it is on the right hand side, you just have to click start creating now. So you select the size or the style of the book. In this case, we have uh, printed covers, linen covers and genuine covers. I am, however, going to explore themes. So right at the top, I have an option to explore themes. These are pre-designed layouts, which also give you an option to make changes as you go along. So I'm going to choose the geometric bright in an A4. It's the most popular size. And there it is. This is our easy editor page layout. Number one, always start adding your images first. It can be a long process depending on how many images you want to upload, the size of the images, etc. Because this is a quick tour, I am going to use existing images. So back to the menu on the left, my images have now all uploaded. I can scroll through them as I like. Directly below that is our layout option. By clicking on that and uh, being on cover, it shows me the selection of covers that are available. So to apply a different cover, I click on it and I can click apply or I can simply click and drag and drop the cover over. I also have the option directly below that for backgrounds. So if you want to update, add, you can always drop that in the background and make the change. We are going to go back to layouts and we're going to use that one part of the theme. Moving on to page one, you'll notice that page one starts on the right with all our copy table books. And moving to page two and three, your even numbers are on the left and your odd numbers are on the right. You are able to scroll through by using the arrows on either side of the pages and you'll see what the existing theme has. You can, however, very easily change. So as we are still on the layout option, it shows me the pages alternatives. I can, once again, drag and drop. I can then scroll down in that menu and I will see some plain designs. If I keep scrolling, you'll notice it goes all the way to four plus images per page. And it's as simple again as dragging and dropping. When it comes to the layout, we're going to go back to cover again. On the bottom left hand side, I click on cover and I scroll up. I choose the image that I want, drag across and drop. Once again, drag and drop. We're also going to give the book a title name. We're going to call it holiday. And we're going to choose um, a font and there it is. The text is updated. Moving on to page one again, I will now choose autofill. Naturally, you could continue through the entire process and drop images in one by one. I'll click autofill and we'll move on to page two. Within the easy editor, you have an option of doing a little bit of editing. So clicking on the image, you can choose something like crop and straighten as well as rotate left, right, and then clear the picture box. But we want to definitely do a crop. And we're gonna click on it and drag it down, make sure we get a little bit of mini showing. You also can do a little bit of rotating if you want to uh, do that. Tick to apply, and then do the, exactly the same throughout the other options. And that you can continue going through the book in that exact sequence, either by clicking along the bottom on the page number or on the right. By clicking on the order on the top right hand corner or the little trolley, it shows you the book style that you have, in this case the theme as well as the size, the number of pages and the price. We have a feature called Perfectly Clear which auto enhances your images. Highly recommended if the images are coming from various sources. Naturally if you do your own color correction you will not tick this option. If you want a preview slightly larger, you click on that, it takes away all the other aspects and you can then page through and see how the layout looks. Naturally then going back to continue editing from that point. We also have a feature to change product. This will allow you to go to a larger or a smaller book and in some cases different styles. It shows you the price difference and you can get a slightly larger image. Next is to save your project. Um, you need to give it a project name, so we're going to call it quick tour and sticking it will save. Advanced editing we'll cover in another video. It pretty much uh, opens up the aspects of any type of design or layout that you like. You can, you can add and create. 
By saving the project, you activate the share option. This gives you a link which you can copy and send to family members or if you're designing it for clients. They can then view only the book in the preview. They don't get to see the price or any of the other design elements and they can't make changes to the book. You can also add pages. So at all times it tells you the total number of pages. Our books start at 30 pages and they allow you to go up to 100 pages. Here you simply need to click and the additional pages will be added. You can also add at any stage within the book and it'll insert it at that point. You can then go back to your layouts option, choose any combination and drop that over. If you're using autofill, you could uh, click it once more and it will repopulate the entire project. From this point, you click on order and order again, saves your project and it takes you through to the next stage. Here the order summary, there's four stages. It's cart summary, shipping billing, payment and confirmation. You can add a box if you need. In some cases you can add various types of cover. Matte is our standard cover. Uh, you can also change that to gloss if you like. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please contact us.